Good morning, everyone. Thanks again for your time this morning, and I'd like to spend the next few minutes discussing why we should eliminate animal testing. So without any further ado, animals are all around us. Whether they be wild animals or domesticated, we coexist with these living beings every day. In fact, I give my heart every day to a four-legged friend. My miniature schnauzer, Bentley, is a living creature just like me. He has basic needs like food and water, he needs love and attention, and the occasional trip to the doctor. This is a post-doctor visit picture. Like most animals, he can communicate. He lets me know when he's sleepy, when he doesn't feel well, or when he feels like I'm not giving him enough attention. So even though Bentley lives his best life, I can't say the same for all animals. Every day, animals are used to test new products to see what impacts they could potentially have in humans before they're released. Some of these animals are put through conditions that stress them to the point that it either harms them or it kills them. So ask yourself, if this were your child or your family member, would you be okay with them testing products against their will to the point that it hurts them or could even kill them? Animal testing causes mental and physical trauma. Oftentimes the results that we obtain are inaccurate because of biological differences between humans and animals. And with advances in science and technology, there's methods that we could use that could either steeply reduce the number of test animals or eliminate the need for them. So test animals often live in confined spaces with little to no social or emotional interaction. The New England Anti-Vivisection Society mentions that animals in labs live stressful, monotonous, and unnatural lives of daily confinement and deprivation. The only changes in their lives that they may experience are if they're called into research or testing protocols. Oftentimes this actually results in a vicious temperament that animals wouldn't historically display because the trauma that they go through puts them into a fight or flight reaction. Also. Tests conducted with animals expose them to stressful conditions. Sometimes these conditions can harm them or it causes so much stress that it may actually result in death. Humane Society International mentioned in an article that all procedures, even ones classified as mild, have the potential to cause animals physical as well as psychological distress. So again, this is against their will and they have no control over it. So knowing the trauma and the lives that these animals go through, Oftentimes, that's enough to convince people that we shouldn't use them for testing. Another reason is because some of the results that we obtain from animal testing aren't always accurate because of differences in our biological makeup. Test animals are often exposed to conditions that they would not naturally experience. PETA, which is People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, mentioned that routine tests are often completed by trying to infect animals with diseases that they wouldn't naturally contract. It makes it hard to trust those results because if an animal has a disease that they wouldn't naturally contract, you don't know if those are the same symptoms that a human could experience when they may very well contract it. In addition, side effects observed in animal testing don't always match what products are going to cause when used by humans. PETA also mentions that of the small percent of drugs approved for human use, half of them end up being relabeled because the side effects identified in testing are different than that when humans use it for the first time. In addition to that, Humane Society International mentions that nine out of 10 medicines that appear safe in animals fail when they're used in humans. So knowing that animals go through trauma when we use them for testing and that the results that we obtain aren't always true, that's scary to know that we could be using things and harming animals when it may not have any impact on it. So how do we change that? Technology and science are pioneering new methods of testing that could greatly either reduce or eliminate the need of test animals that we use. Humane Society International mentioned in their article as well that scientists can use computers to interpret and integrate data with information from human and population level studies. So my interpretation of that is we can take things like chemical compounds and look at trends from people that live in a specific area and compare that to other products and get a better idea without having to harm an animal. One Green Planet mentions in an article 
that in the United Kingdom Driven Technology Test, computer technology was actually accurate 89% of the time, compared to a 75% accuracy rating in similar tests that were conducted using live test rabbits. So knowing that computers can actually give us a higher accuracy rating makes it a little more trustworthy and even more appealing to stop harming animals against their will. So while it's always comforting to understand what effects a product may have on lives, animal testing doesn't always furnish the right answer. Side effects from these products aren't always identified from testing, and they make their way to humans upon first use anyway. The test subjects that are used to test these products live miserable lives and have no control over it, and we would never wish that on any human. If technology and automation are going to lead the way in every other industry, why should we not allow them to do so to eliminate the need for animals and testing? So thank you guys again for your time, and I appreciate everybody's